Bonjour mon ami. It is another outstanding morning here in South France and I want to take a moment to share it with you because we are often forgetting how precious every day can become, how precious is the possibility that you are having to be born with, with talent, to be born with this artistic potential that is just waiting to express itself. Of course, they are not every morning is great for, for, for art. Sometimes you may think that it is impossible to, to make something outstanding out of a day. But nevertheless, I think it is it is the other way around. It is not that the day, there's something wrong with the day. It is something with us, with our preparation for, for the day. Because every day has the opportunity to deliver great art to you. What we are often missing out is to prepare ourselves to remain open to this opportunity to see in this day see in you and your gifts how, how precious they are and that every day you have the right to do something out of the of, of it and of course it is that we not always have the self-confidence to push ourselves to the point where we are taking advantage of our talent and of an outstanding day uh, for art i think we, when we start to re-examine ourselves, we can get some clues how we can change, how we can uh, uh, turn around things so we are able again to open ourselves for an outstanding day of art. And I, in my opinion, it is the best way to start really with your past because most likely you are holding yourself back from a future because there's something in the past that is holding uh, us back and when you are not open for a day full of creativity and art then it is a problem of self-confidence and it is a problem of experience that took away from you a great day for art or took away a great artistic uh, experience and when we are seeking to rebuild again the self-confidence to open ourselves uh, up again we are reviving our possibilities that we are having for outstanding days that are to come for for our art when you look back we can immediately pick some of the things that have damaged us that when something have not worked out or someone said to us something that was damaging our self-confidence for our creativity you can make the um, you can test it pick three uh, things out of your past three negative experiences even if they are silly nevertheless they have the, uh, had a big impact because otherwise you would be open for every day to deliver the best art you can and when we are examining such 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 moments we can find out how to overcome them how to heal from this uh, what was hurting us what has damaged something in us that we are taking away from us something that is so precious we can rebuild them back our confidence and i think the best antidote to a negative past is a projection of a positive future and I want to invite you today to do something to do a little bit of experiment because this is something that is working for everyone that is here with me in in South France because it is here so easy possible but nevertheless for you no matter where you are there's also this possibility that we are having here to imagine you best artistic day what would you do if you would wake up here in south france with all the sunlight these beautiful structures around you this this vivid colors and everything would be possible perhaps where you are right now it is not a place where it is it is easy to imagine such a day but nevertheless it is then a creative challenge and a creative challenge from which you will really uh, benefit 
this visualizing a perfect creative day is a way to set a, a milestone for you because one day it will be possible like for example come out here in, in into the south france or the other places we are going to and to have this wonderful day of art where where you are doing what is bringing the best creativity the best potentials out of you uh, uh, forward just imagine for a moment what would you do when would you wake up today would you prefer like me waking up uh, in the morning to have a walk and to rethink your day what you are what you want to achieve and help other people is this the start of your day or is it something um, different sit down in a nice cafe with an espresso writing in, in your notebook what uh, all the thoughts or you writing down your dreams what is bringing you to the creative flow and then from there start to build a whole day a whole day that you can imagine in which nothing would be as an obstacle nothing would damage you or nothing would uh, hurt you <clears throat> visualizing is i think one of the easiest method to overcome challenges because out of such a visualization it is possible to develop affirmations affirmations that are boosting your creativity and helping you to focus again what is important uh, for you perhaps not every day will be your perfect artistic day but nevertheless you have like you have something that is dragging you down from the past you have now something that is pulling you forward into the future and together with the positive affirmations remind us that you can set yourself you can be more pulled to the future to the opportunities of the future than drag down back to the past and the regrets of the uh, past it is so much easier to set your creativity free when you have some instant affirmation like like just it, it don't has to be words like for me when I am let's say in the United Kingdom and it's bad weather and the wet bad weather is dragging me down I am thinking of the sunlight through the uh, through the uh, through the olive trees in the morning this is what you are actually seeing now and just this picture this is a formation for me that there is a world waiting of, of sunlight and structures and pleasure uh, for me and that can be something that is put together in words you, you have to experiment what is working uh, best for you so sit down and try to work out a visualization of a perfect artistic day and some of our formation that are directly connected uh, with this because with these affirmations and with the repetition, repetition of this positive picture of, of your future and, and the words that you are saying or the, the pictures that you are seeing in your mind, you are developing helpful habits. Like it was a habit to subconsciously or, the, or consciously being reminded of the bad things that had happened in the past that are dragging you down that are holding you uh, uh, creativity back in a way you are developing now a positive habit through picturing of a future and opening you up to to a better future and then it is so much harder to remain in the past remain in the in in this frustration that you are having that you cannot right now create art because instead of a bad past you have now a better future to look forward it can be an uh, illusion first but look at this these places are really existing these places are waiting for you perhaps it is not uh, south france for you perhaps you should visit with us uh, thailand what an outstanding place and so much sunlight so much colors it must be something that is working uh, for for you and with time with this visualization with this affirmation you are developing a backup system something that immediately is working when when the bad things are dragging you down again you are becoming frustrated and you are becoming angry you have now developed something a kind of backup system that can reboot you instantly and put you on course 
instantly because there's no way of changing the past all you can do is change your mindset about your past and the best way of changing your ma uh, mind for for your creativity for your future is to have something to look forward uh, to to develop hope my uh, backup system no matter what is happening is taking a deep breath and then I am rebooting myself with all the uh, pictures that I have developed uh, in my head right now what I have done before I started this video I have actually uh, done something that is really interesting because with what I am rebooting myself is the smell of the air here in South France it has a certain quality that is outstanding and significant uh, for me and also the, what I am seeing is part of the reboot program so when I'm here I am I'm actually preparing my reboot uh, program I am taking a big breath and take a look around I'm observing taking everything in and I'm chiseling it into my mind so when I'm somewhere where the weather is bad I'm although I'm not feeling so great let's say in London with all the traffic and the rain coming down and so on I can just step into a quiet corner take a deep breath and instantly be here where I am right now and then I know that places like this exist that I can actually live the outstanding day of creativity and, and art that I have visualized and this is an outstanding experience for me and with time you are learn to surround yourself with the necessary things like you have been before surround yourself with the with the bad things subconsciously that were dragging you down now you are opening you up to surround yourself with the positive things and then pleasure and joy is becoming part of your artistic uh, of the of your artistic work when pleasure and joy is something that is working for you perhaps you need to find different things for me it is the small joys the way i can hear touch a, a, a leaf and how it feels and and how it smells it is a joy for me and uh, other things i'm looking forward today to sit down in a cafe and rethink what i have now been talking about in, in uh, to, uh, to you and this small things that i carry around with me like sometimes a, a twig sometimes a stone that i'm finding are positive reminders that are that are an anchor that is keeping me in the positive possibilities of the futures because they are existing the only thing that I can do is to to say I am not don't I don't want to be a part of it I I stick perhaps better in the past and I'm not working on the past this past is something that I am I am anchored myself in even when I'm losing all the artistic possibility of course possibilities of course this is also a decision but I think it is more interesting and it is more pleasurable and it is more it has more to do with a reality when you anchor yourself in something from which you are gaining the all the pleasures and happiness and and what you are seeking uh, in life and it is starting all this what i'm talking about is starting to treat yourself differently to treat yourself like a precious object because you are living on a precious planet that is full of beauty and so you are you and when these both beauties are connecting it is so easy to to develop art to stay creative to get into the artistic uh, flow perhaps one of the, if your first affirmation should be i'm treating myself like a precious ob object and that will make me strong really to, f to already see the diamond of potential shine in you and and from this you are starting to to use this light to let your creativity uh, flow and then you are getting into the creative groove again and and everything is becoming possible in a way even if you have to start with visualizing your perfect artistic day and start to develop affirmations and a reboot uh, 
program for you that is working and then with time you are becoming uh, start you are starting to become the precious object that is work to, uh, worth to to put all your energy in because it can it can create such outstanding and magnificent magnificent things that will make this planet even uh, better i hope this is an uh, inspiration for you of course you must find your own uh, way but nevertheless just work on it it is worth because you have so much outstanding things to give and perhaps i will meet you one day here in south france and together we can enjoy all this beauty nevertheless i hope you will have an outstanding day because every day is a great day for art and i also hope to see you in my next video until then see you soon bye bye